Hi, welcome to yoga. I'm Steven, and we're just here for a little bit of yoga. I've got a mat, and I've got a blanket, some blocks, some bolster. Let's just get started. In child's pose, maybe using the blanket under the knees. Reaching your arms out in front of you. Hips and heels towards the floor. Resting in child's pose. Yeah. You can always use a block on the forehead. Now let's do the bolster. Between the knees, more of a restorative move. Just finding your way, whichever variation you've chosen, to your breath. I'm just checking in with how you're breathing this afternoon. Noticing your inhale. Noticing your exhale. No longer you're in the pose, you find an edge, open something up, and then back down. Just surrendering your child's pose is a good place to go, but at any point in the practice, you need a break. Surrendering here, listening to breath. I'm beginning to scan the body for any sensations. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. Something you'd like to gain, something you'd like to let go of throughout your efforts and energy. And once your intention or your dedication's been set, and slowly letting the eyes open, walking the hands under the shoulders, under the hips. Just taking some cats and cows here, just dropping the belly, lifting the heart, exhale, arching the spine. And yeah, drop the belly, open the heart, lift the tailbone. Exhale, arch the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, draw the belly in. Then you'll do a neutral spot. We're going to curl the toes under. First, just lift the knees off the ground. Puppy dog pose. We're beginning to straighten the legs. Maybe shifting the feet back a little bit. Chest reaches down. Sit bones reach up and you're pressing into all 10 fingers and thumbs. Finding your downward facing dog, and taking your downward dog for a walk, pedaling the feet. And find stillness. Sternly rotating the shoulders. Checking in with your breath. I'm just going to slowly take a little stroll forward, little baby steps forward. Finding 
making your way ultimately to the top of the mat. Hanging in a ragdoll position. Spine's released. Maybe there's a slight bend in the knees. Your arms can hang. Or maybe reaching for opposite elbows here. On top of the head. Hanging forward. Super heavy bowling ball. It's about to roll off the neck. We'll bend the knees and begin to stack vertebra on top of vertebra. Slowly unfurling the spine, coming up to mountain pose, Tadasana. We'll inhale the hands up to the ceiling. Holding we'll that right hand to the left wrist, and on an exhale, just lean to the right. Inhale, lengthening the spine, and exhale, leaning to the right. back up, reaching the left hand of the right wrist and then leaning to the left, opening up on the right side of the rib cage, inhale, lengthening, creating space, exhale, pressing over to the left. Inhale, back up, and to the ceiling, and on an exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward, spawn down. We'll inhale, lift up the long spine. Exhale, folding forward. Maybe finding your block. Got this first lunge. Step into the right foot back. Just finding your front knee over the front ankle. The ball of the back foot. Maybe using your blocks to bring the floor a little bit closer. You can always just use your fingertips. Bring the sternum so you can breathe. Once your alignment's all good, just beginning to shift forward and back a little bit. Waking up the hips, waking up the hamstrings. Shifting forward and back. And once they're awake, finding stillness again, lower that right knee to the ground. Maybe you can keep that blanket under there, out of the knee. We're just going to bring the hands either to the thigh, that left thigh, right above the knee, or maybe bringing them up to the sky. Just having a little bit of lunge, dragon lunge. Just breathing here, evening out the hips as they sink, opening the heart, lengthening the spine. Breathing here. Hands out of the blocks. Maybe changing the length. I'm going to shift onto that left heel. Bring the hips back. Finding a half hand vinasana here. Inhale, opening spine. Exhale, hinging, folding forward. Maybe changing the block size. Opening the heart, lengthening the spine. Exhale, bowing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull. And on the next inhale, coming back up, bringing this whole of that left foot back to the ground. Going to back to his under. Lifting up to your low lunge. Right, stepping that left foot back to meet the right. Finding your plank. For a couple of breaths, the elbows lining up the wrists and shoulders, like mountain pose, but you're facing the floor rather than standing on the floor. And on your next exhale, lifting the hips up and back, blossoming the sit bones, heels reaching down to the ground, pressing into the thumbs and the first fingers, internally 
Rotate the lower arms and externally rotate the upper arms. Shoulder blades going down the back. Keeping the Uddiyana engaged. Sucking in the cup. And on an inhale, lift that right leg up my back. And on an exhale, I'm just going to bring it forward. I didn't mind the other side, so maybe kind of the blocks again. Whatever level feels good with the blocks. The back leg is long, it's like you're pressing into an imaginary wall behind you. Front knees are over the front ankle. The sternum is free, so you can breathe. Once you've got your alignment lined up, you're going to shift forward and back. Wiggling a little bit. It could be a big movement, it could be a small movement. Just waking up the hips and the hamstrings on the side. Ultimately, finding some stillness. Slowly lower that back knee. We'll either find the hands at the upper thigh of that right leg, or maybe bring them up to the sky. Dragging lunge in the side. Breathing here, evening out the torso forward. Sinking the hips, lengthening the lower back and the upper back, opening the heart. Scanning the body for sensation. Listening for the inner teacher. Back down to the block, so exhale. <laughs> shift the hips back, so you're over that left knee, taking the bottom of the right foot off the ground, heel on the ground still. Straighten on the leg, keeping a micro bend in that right knee, so you're not locking the knee joint. We're going to inhale, open spine, open heart, now to exhale, bowing forward over that right leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding. Where can you feel this? Come forward, landing the sole of the right foot. Come back to your low lunge. Just stepping the left foot forward. Another forward fold, and then just a little deeper. Let's get on reaching up and back. Folding the navel towards the legs. So inhale and sink the bottom, bend the knees. Find the Ukutasana awkward chair. Lightning bolt. And exhale, folding forward again. Inhale, lengthening the spine. All right, so we're just going to step the left leg back. Left leg back to the knee. Plank. Exhale, knees to the ground, elbows to the ribs. Half chatter around you. Over the belly. Open the heart. Move down to the spine. Uh, exhale, roll up the toes. Finding your way back to downward facing dog. Breathing here, downward facing dog, or maybe lowering the knees to the ground. Finding a child's pose and resting there. Finding three Ujjayi breaths. That third exhalation. Inhale that right leg up and back down dog split. Now the exhale, just gonna step it forward. We'll bring the heel, that left foot down, front. Just finding our way. 
Robin Johnson at one. Now the feet are in opposite lanes of traffic. Front knee is over the front ankle. Squaring the hips off in front of the mat. Opening up the heart. Readjusting the feet if you need to. You need to find a good base. Look like it might confuse you a little bit. It's still there. Relaxing the shoulders, turning the pinkies in towards the temples. Hold in the other hand, so on to the neutral thought of center. And on an exhale, and consciously open that right foot or that left foot, left hip. Same lane of traffic down, arms wide. Finding warrior two, the Robin Johnson at two. Looking up over the fingertips of the right hand, breathing here. Relaxing the shoulders, noticing if you're leaning forward or leaning back. It's going to be right in the middle. Then we'll flip the palm and that right hand is feeling it. Maybe he'll take it up to the center. Left arm goes down, back leg. Keeping that front knee over the front ankle. Reaching the heart up to the right hand. Breathing here. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, just bring that right elbow down to the right thigh, left arms over, left ear, one long line of energy from the left side of that left foot, out the fingertips of the left hand, breathing here. Sweep back up to warrior two. We're going to straighten that right leg and then tilting the pelvis forward, reaching, reaching, reaching with the right hand. We can't go any further. Bringing it down to that right shin. Left shoulder over the right shoulder, left hip over the right hip. Body expanding in all directions. Udita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Breathing here. Maybe turning your drishti onto that left thumb if it doesn't bother the neck. And we'll turn the drishti from that left thumb to the right big toe. And we're just going to come on to the ball of that left foot. Cartwheel your arm down, finding your low lunge. We're going to step that right foot back to meet the left. Finding plank. And you're finding China run. Rolling over the toes, maybe find an upward facing dog, not racing through it. On an exhale, lifting the hips up, downward facing dog, taking three deep to drag breath, either in downward facing dog or maybe child's pose. Breathing here, scanning the body for sensations. What is the inner teacher trying to teach you? So that third exhalation, we'll inhale, take that left leg up and back, down dog split. On the exhale, we're just going to step it forward. And then we're going to bring that right foot down, a little bit of an angle on a separate lane of traffic. You're adjusting the feet as you come up if you need to, feeling grounded. Squaring the hips forward, opening the heart, sweeping the arms up. I think he's turned in towards the temples. Opening the heart, breathing here. Catching your breath. Warrior one, drop Rasana Uno. Open the hands, dodge the neutral on this side. On the exhale, open that right foot, right hip. Now the feet are in the same lane of track. Then open the arms out wide. Feet are perpendicular to each other. Shoulders are relaxed. Drishti is over the middle finger of the left hand. Warrior two. You're not leaning forward, not leaning back, right dead in the center. Flip the palm, the left hand to the ceiling. 
And on an inhale, take the fingertips up to the ceiling, the fingertips to the right hand, go down the back leg. Reversing your warrior, peaceful warrior, heart reaching up to the palm, the left hand. Breathing here. On your next exhale, just bring that left elbow, left thigh, right arm is over the right ear. One long line of energy from the right side of the right foot, out of the fingertips of the right hand. Stand at side angle. Inhale, coming back up to warrior two. Just for a moment, straighten the left leg. Put the pelvis forward, reach the left arm forward. We can't go any further. Comes down to a block, or maybe the left shin, right shoulder over the right, over the left shoulder, right hip over the left hip. Body expanding in all kinds of directions. Drishti is up to that right thumb if it doesn't bother your neck. Breathing here. Triangle pose. We'll turn our drishti from that right thumb down to the left big toe. We part with that right arm around, spinning up the ball of the right foot, finding your low lunge. And we'll step that left foot back. Plank. Looks out of your chaturanga, either full or half. Elbows to the ribs. Yeah, we're rolling over the toes for upward facing dog. Exhale, two hips up and back. Ooh, dropping the knees to the ground. Hips to the heels. Forehead to the floor. Hands in, slowly really coming out. Using the blanket again, either for hero's pose, just right here. If you want to do a supported hero's pose, your blocks. Place me between the ankles. Get back on, spit the spine and perfect alignment. So relax the shoulders, the palms can come down on the thigh. Hanging out here, touching your brow. Or you could do it without the blocks and you're just sitting on the back of your lower leg and your feet. Hands, take the arms up to the ceiling, and on exhale, we're just going to twist to the left. Take that right hand behind your kidney on the right side, opening up the heart here, and twisting out the spine. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, twisting. Inhale, and exhale. And then back to the center, arms back up. We'll exhale, we'll twist to the right, taking that right arm around to the left kidney. Maybe find the left hip. Lengthening the spine, giving yourself a little self assist with the tips of your left hand. Tips of your left fingers, lengthening the spine. Exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, twisting. Center. 
around them, maybe roll on the shoulders a little bit. Bring them up. Next, we're going to find our way back to the floor for uh, pigeon pose, but you can, before you do it the classical variation, if it bothers your knee, you can always be on your back with your right ankle at your left knee, and hanging out here. If you're comfortable and good, the classic variation. You can come up into downward dog for a moment. What I like to do and open up that. Right foot to the sky, bend the knee, keep the right hip over the left. Move on, exhale, spring in the lower half of the core. Getting set up, I like to have a blanket under my back knee. Sinking that right hip down, you can put a blanket underneath that right hip. Maybe having a block ready. Inhale, opening up the heart. Your heart is open. Melting forward. Maybe finding a block for under the third eye. I'm just hanging out here, scanning the body, listening to the breath. Maybe you find another edge to the locker here. Maybe you don't need the block anymore. You can just melt all the way down. Maybe a lower level of the block works. What's going on in that right hip this morning? Sorry, I have to move. In the air, so push the block forward, walk the hands in, bring up, pulling the back toes under, using the abdominals, lift back the down, facing dog, and then repeat a little bit. And if you're in the seated variation, just shifting the other side. You're coming through downward dog, you take that left leg to the sky, left foot to the sky, bend the knee, opening up the left hip, pinging it over the right. If you're ready, bring the lower half of that left leg forward. I'm setting up for a pigeon on this side. The right leg's going straight back, the hips are even, heart is open. Oh, proud spine. And ultimately melting forward. Maybe using the block again under the forehead. Maybe you put a blanket or a block under that left hip. Always find another edge, readjust, and then melt forward again. Listen to your body, scanning the body for sensation.
on the inhale. Begin to walk the hands with the shoulders. Looks like shifting. Over to the left hip. Spraying the right leg around. We're moving the blanket now. Moving the soles. Put the feet forward. Putting Paksha Mottanasana. And maybe using your blocks, if you like, underneath the knee, even. Inhale, picking the arms up. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Navel, up the thighs. Not too far. You may not come very far. It's fine. You can just strap here if you have a strap. You can also stay very upright if you would rather. You don't need to have the blocks under your knees. But if you put the blocks under your knees, you just relax the muscles and the legs. And your core, just letting the spine droop forward, caterpillar, like Pachimatanasana. If you're doing caterpillar, you can always grab that bolster, sort of hug it in like a teddy bear, let's wrap the knees basically into your chest, and your chin rests on top. Scanning the body for sensation. Listening to the breath. Inside for a moment. And once you awaken your feet a little bit, and we're just getting the soles of the feet together. Maybe grabbing the blocks and placing them right under either the knees or just above the knees under the thighs. I think your way onto our back, maybe taking the bolster. We'll lay the spine on the bolster. Opening up the heart a little bit. A little supported fish pose. We just in the bolster. Tilt feels just like it's in the right place. Now lower back. Relaxing the shoulders, palms are up to the ceiling. Breathing here. Scanning the body for sensations. Listening to the breath, staying present and aware. Could stay here for Shavasana, or if you want to take regular Shavasana, you can. Regular Shavasana, you just remove the props and lie back down. Femur bones opening up, left leg flopping to the left, right leg flopping to the right, rolling the shoulders under. And you're lengthening the head, bring it back down. And putting your eye pillow over the eyes. Either way, absorbing the benefits of your practice today.
go of any special breathing technique you might have been going on earlier. Just returning to your natural breath, surrendering there with it. Scanning your body for sensations. Stay in a supported butterfly fish for as long as you want. Stay in your shavasana as long as you want. We got places to be, people to be. Slowly beginning to bring movement back to the fingers and the toes. Bring the soles of the feet to the floor. We're just going to roll over our favorite side, sliding off the bolster. Just hanging out there in a fetal position. You don't need to rush. But when you feel ready, keeping your eyes closed, finding your way from easy seated pose to a classic. Feet are crossed. Off the feet on the ground. Moving out the spine, bringing the palms and the hands together at the heart center, Anjali Mutra. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. And a deep exhale, maybe with a sigh through the mouth. Fluttering your eyes open. Thanks for coming to yoga. And hope you have a great Sunday afternoon. And come again soon.